Perfect. On Instagram. Uh, no, go follow the Perfect Talk page too at Perfect Talk Radio right there on Instagram. Just to shout them out a little bit. Well, let's get right into it, man. It's the Perfect Talk podcast, and it's time for Plicker's Spotlight Story. Like I said, Halloween just passed, man, and it's real easy to make a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Costumes could go wrong. You could be trying too hard. And everybody's favorite Kardashian to bash, Khloe Kardashian, got caught in the crosshairs this past year, man. She uh, decided that she was going to go as, uh, I want to say, one of the brats, right? Those are like the little toys that the kid, the girls play with, a brat's doll. And uh, her tone just seemed to be a little bit darker than everybody else. In fact, people didn't even really recognize that at first. It's, it was called black fishing. I had to look up the term because I wasn't even familiar with what black fishing was, man. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? What is that? But uh, let me pull up the definition of black fishing for y'all right now. They say black fishing is the act of someone who is not black pretending to be black with the use of methods of makeup, tanning, or technology like filters or Photoshop. Um, not sure what you use. I'm assuming tanning or some type of like spray tan or something like that to achieve the tone, but it just you know was received with some backlash. Um, <laughs> comments said the black face is clear here. Another one said, No way is this Khloe Kardashian is giving Jesse Nelson, so I guess Olivia Pearson, Kim Kardashian, Khloe, and Natalie Hawkrow. All decided to be Brad's dolls, and they took this picture together. But Chloe seemed to be the one that got the brunt of the backlash from everybody else. Yeah, you know, you always get people accused of the back black face or the black fishing or whatever it is. Whenever they change their tone up a little bit, I'm um, not sure what you're trying to do, man. I'm, I, I miss the thick Chloe, man. I feel like the thick Chloe wouldn't have done this. You know what I mean? She would have, uh, she would have had a dude by her side that would have been tapped on the shoulder, like, nah, that's not a good look, Chloe. You know what I mean? And this. She ain't had nobody in this in this scenario to do that for, and it's uh sad, you know what I mean? But, uh, Chloe, you, you might be able to bounce back, but you got to learn from the people around you also, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to my guy, Keegan-Michael Key, who showed up to uh, Heidi Klum's Halloween party, and he had his wife with him, and you know what I mean? she His wife was white, and you know what I mean? Just to just to make sure she ain't get no issues. She went white face on y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you got to go the opposite direction, Chloe, just to stay out of trouble, you know what I mean? So... Do what you got to do, man. Shout out to Heidi Klum. You know, she showed up on, with the wild peacock costume going crazy out there in these streets. Uh, Heidi Klum always been winning for, for Halloween. Uh, <laughs> winning or, or, I guess, going above and beyond, depending on how you look at it, depending on how it was judged. But, uh, yeah, Chloe, man, you need someone in that. She got black friends. I don't even understand how to slip through the cracks. <laughs> you got to keep the circle around you. Maybe you hanging with Tristan too much. I don't know what's going down, but you got to, you got to, you got to look at the people around you. Be like, how, how y'all let this happen? Perfect Talk is what it do. It's your guy, DJ Playboy, man. Thank you for checking out this short clip of the Perfect Talk podcast. Please go check out every episode right there on the YouTube channel. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button.